The Silicon Lee Show is proudly brought to you by our major series sponsor, Sport First, first for sport. T'was two nights after Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were still hung from the chimney with care, because nobody could really be bothered taking them down from there. And then from the staircase arose such a clatter, and two idiot talk show hosts ruined everything for everybody. Hello and welcome to the sequel to the final episode ever of the Silicon Lee Show. That's right, this is our last minute post Christmas special. Bit of a mouthful, but that's what it is. You're doing well, baby. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, of course, last week was our end of the world special. Uh, we, for some reason, we believed the Mayan prediction that the end of the world was coming in 2012, uh, December 21st. Um, As we and, all did. Yeah, and we threw a big celebration. And um, of course, this was not correct. And I'm starting to wonder why we believed uh, a prediction from a race that couldn't even predict their own extinction. Yeah, well, apparently only one in four doomsdays is correct. So, so. everyone knows that. Yeah. Uh, but we would like to apologise to those that we uh, caused hurt to last week, Dave. Um, if you did sell your house in an attempt to make money and have one final big celebration, we will be offering cardboard boxes. The rent is reasonable. Yes, he's been living in one his whole life. So That's just rude, David. Oh, sorry, Joshua. <laughs> um, but of course, we are not in our own set tonight. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Find out in a minute. <laughs> Welcome to our last minute post Christmas special, I think that's what we're calling it, Josh. We're mm. coming uh, here live tonight. Well, not really live, we don't film live, but we're going to tell you it's live from <laughs> someone's lounge room tonight. Yes, and if you are out and have just realised that we're in your home, don't be alarmed. We'll be out in half an hour. I did touch the cheesecake in your fridge, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he did. It was uh, good. He did. Uh, but look, there are a few reasons uh, tonight why we're coming from someone's lounge room. Of course, last week, if you watched the show, uh, you will know that we had our end of the world special where we foolishly predicted the end of the world. Mm. Um, unfortunately, the world did not come to an end. No, unfortunately um, not. And we have to do more shows. Um, <laughs> so after the, uh, the end of the world, during the end of the world, uh, basically what we were doing to prepare was we sold off our whole set. We desecrated the studio, unspeakable and things. Among, among studio. other things, <laughs> and we cancelled our entire series. Yeah. Um, a couple of days after the end of the world, we got a call from Channel Thirty One. Guys, you are contractually obligated mm. to do a full series yeah. of thirteen weeks worth of shows. We need more shows right now. Apparently, they don't write doomsdays in contracts these days. They <laughs> don't. <laughs> so uh, basically. Uh, what we ask of you guys is while we try and fix up ties with the uh, studio technician down at Deakin University, anybody who has bought any little bits and pieces from our set, we ask you guys to come down here tonight to this lounge room and give us our set back. Give us our yes. little piece of our set back that you've bought. Um, and uh, meanwhile, we'll find some crap to talk about. Yes. Um, we will need to shoot our pre-records live, Dave. We won't be doing that, but we do have a very big, very special yeah. show for you guys tonight. Unfortunately, again, due to the end of the world, mm. um, we had to let our, out of the kindness of our hearts, really, we had to let our news girl, Georgie Botto, go. Uh, we sacked her. Um, <laughs> she wasn't too happy. Uh, she ran away and took the bobblehead of me away with her. So if anybody knows the whereabouts of Georgie Botto, please let us know right away because I'd really like that bobblehead back. <laughs> we like Georgie back too, but the bobblehead, yeah. Could you have your priorities right there? <laughs> yeah. We do happen to have a replacement news girl we do, tonight, yes. man. So let's cross live to the homeowner in the dining room who'll be telling us what's headlining tonight's show. Look, sorry, I don't know, it's pretty hectic out here as you can see. I'm in uh, up to 192 across. I don't know what it is, but I'm looking for it pretty quickly. So I have no clue what's going on. Back to you boys. Thank you, homeowner, but I think we will be introducing the show ourselves tonight. I think so. Um, I've bought the, the wig and the lipstick. Do you want to be Georgie or should I? Told you we're not, we're not doing that. We discussed this. It's not happening. Are you afraid you might like it, Dave? I'm afraid you might like it, Joshua. <laughs> Let's get into tonight's show. Tonight on the Silicon Lee Show, we head down to Federation Square and we judge the public on whether mm. they're naughty or nice. That's right. We also partake in the very first challenge of the series. 
Uh, it's a little game we call gifting. It's a two-parter. It's a beauty. It's pretty special. It's special in many more ways than one, mm. and we'll get to that later. But first up, let's get into our first package, yeah. the Naughty and Nice list. That's right. Now, look, Dave, we're not the only ones who thought the world was coming to an mm -hmm. end. Santa did too. He did. And look, he stopped judging people, as you said. He no. stopped <laughs> checking if people were naughty or nice. Yes. And what he did was he sold all his reindeer. I think Rudolph went to the Bellevue government. Mm -hmm, he did. Uh, <laughs> apparently, their pet had to be red-faced as well. Yes, but Santa, as we said, he got really lazy over mm. this year. He started drinking, he started gambling, he started cheating on Mrs. Claus. He became a real ass. Yeah, so he much so he even got offered a job at Centrelink. He did. Um, so what we decided to do was, out of the kindness of our hearts, once again, we yep. decided to enrol on the list of Santa's helpers. And uh, we went out to Federation Square to judge the people out there as to whether they were naughty or nice, to help him put together his naughty and nice list for this year. So. Let's have a look. I think we did pretty well. We did. We're doing Santa's um, busy work today. Uh -huh. We're finding out who's been naughty and who's been nice yeah. this year. Um, and so this is the judgment process. Is there anything you want to tell us about you two from this year? <laughs> um, boyfriends? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. She's single. Uh, That's true. Always has to turn it into that, doesn't he? Always. Dave? Yes? Brian, focus. All right, do you believe in Santa girls? Yes. Yes. In yes. Finland? Yeah. Oh, he yes. does. Yes. Yes. You should know. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. yeah, of course. Babe. That's where we just came from. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Favourite TV show? Yeah. Do you watch our show, though? Yeah. Of course. Of course, of course you do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't don't leave. Days. Really? Where are you from? Finland. They just said that. Oh. They just said yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> Two minutes ago. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going well. All right, All right you guys no, pass. You're on, the, you're on the nice list. Do you guys buy gifts for each other a lot? There's a couple of gifts for him couple in our bag. Oh, so. oh nice. hey, there's one, eh? What and have you, you bought the lady today? Not much. Uh, <laughs> um, cooking. Who does the cooking? Me. She does the cooking. Cleaning. You never do the cooking? I do. Occasionally, oh, that's worth half Good. a point. Cleaning? Cleaning. A bit of both. A bit of both? All right, that's, that's point right. for you. No, no, knock a point off him. Knock a point <laughs> off him. Naughty nice. Okay, what have we done that might be naughty, What that might put you down into that? Well, today we were walking around the city with all the stuff that we've been cranking. That's nice. That's alright, we yeah, do that. Did you annoy people? We did. That's another point. Do you think you've been naughty or nice this year? What time period? Oh. <laughs> you're off to a bad start <laughs> since last Christmas. <laughs> so in your own words, yes. do you think you're naughty or nice? Oh, wicked. Wicked? What's the most wicked thing that you do? I couldn't possibly tell you because some of my family may watch Channel 31. <laughs> Do we even need to keep going? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to the uh, Silicon Lee Show last minute post Christmas special. I think that's what we're calling it here tonight. Um, Josh? Mm. Can I, look, I was going to say this before the show, but now's as good a time as any. Why did you light the fireplace? It's Christmas time, man. <clears throat> let, me, let me teach you something. This is Australia. We're not in America. It's not cold, it's very hot. It's Dave. like 37 degrees out there. Dave, Christmas doesn't have to make sense, okay? We have an obese man going down chimneys. I don't know what this guy's on about. Oh, oh, doorbell. Hang on. Saved by the bell, Josh. Oh. Uh, can someone, someone, all right. Oh, we've got some of our setback. Special delivery for Silly Lee. Hey. <laughs> that's not, that's not Silly. Right. It's Silly and Lee. <laughs> Look, it says Silly and Lee. Does it? Well. Thank you. Would you like? You can put that um, up in the corner there. How did you get here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave. I have a reason why the chimney's lit now. Yeah, why? <laughs> so creepy old men don't come down it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Thank fine. you. That's very Thank nice. You. How much did you pay for that? Two and sixpence. I'll give you five bucks. How's that? Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he looks a bit like you though, Dave. Does he? Does he? For some reason. Mm, I don't know why. Um, at that, let's keep going with the show, I yes. think. Um, so uh, up now is our very first challenge of the year. Yep. Um, it is called Christmas Gifting. Uh, the rules of Christmas Gifting were we both had $10 and we both told each other what we wanted for Christmas. And uh, we had to go out and buy that gift for $10. We couldn't yeah. go over the $10 limit. Yeah, we don't want to spend any more on each other. No. no. <laughs> the catch to this game though, they had to be really obscure gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, they had to be gifts that you could find, but you'd have great difficulty in finding. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we all, we all agreed upon it, us and the camera people yeah. and the producers. 
we agreed upon these obscure gifts and uh, we both went off to try and find them. Now, mm. I said before, uh, this is a very special uh, challenge. Um, not only is this the very first challenge where we've both split off from each other, gone with different camera people. Yeah. We've, always, we've always wanted to do one. Yeah. Uh, we finally got to do one. Uh, not only is it special because of that, but it's special because this is the very first challenge where we have finally broken free of Fed Square mm. and gone straight into the heart of the Melbourne CBD. And what better time to explore Melbourne than at Christmas? Exactly. Apparently the city goes beyond Fed Square. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know that, but we found out. I would like for Christmas, Josh, a orangutan. Like a, a little... What are you going to do with this orangutan, Dave? Just put him there, you know, just look at him, look nice on the shelf. And uh, since the world was meant to end, uh, it became really spiritual over the break. Yeah. And so I want a book on reincarnation. It's all right, shaking the hands. All right, Christmas challenge starts now. Starts now. Oh, shit. There's a little secondhand bookshop down there. I think that's probably my best option. So let's start there. We're two minutes in and I'm already stranded at the traffic lights. Who knows where he is? We're, uh, we're still in Fed Square. We don't take it as seriously as Dave does. Uh, plenty of time. No rush, it's just a game. So we need, we need to find an orangutan. I haven't thought about where. I'm thinking we rule out Maccas. And uh, we probably rule out Flinders Street Station. But other than that, it's all open. All right, here we go. Second hand books right there. We found it. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. It's closed. Look Can you even see in there? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, just when I thought this challenge was going to be easy. I'm going to move on, alright. So, Chop's not there anymore. That sort of looks like an orangutan. Kind of. A little bit like an orangutan, it's just a koala. The Aussie orangutan. Oh, there's this place here, the clearance house. I know they have books in there. All right, we got books. We got books. This is like a, I don't think they really even have se sections here. Reincarnation, this is gonna be difficult. No, okay, I think we'll move out. All right, let's get out of here. All right, wasting time. No time for Christmas spirit right now. I gotta get this present, maybe I should pick up the pace a little. Let's go to Burke Street. It's lame. It's the lamest panda ever. <laughs> uh, I'm too lazy. We're already halfway through. We're 20 minutes in. <laughs> Haven't done anything. <laughs> We've just walked around smiling at girls with this. Ty, listen to the tie. It's a good tie. Ty. No. How about you, sir? <laughs> Got a wink. <laughs> we all want to do what a tie says. If it's on a tie, it's authentic. Uh, I'm having no luck. Wow, oh, sort of working, <laughs> half working. Come back! <laughs> I'm mainly getting them from guys who are looking at this and going, I'm like, yeah, no, please don't kiss me. That would not be good. Christmas panda, of course. Maya windows? Oh. It's all right, mate. Okay. Let's pick it up. There it is over there. All books, five dollars. All right, all right, all right, all right. Pick up, you idiot. This is on my time. So surely... Oh, Josh is calling. Hang on. Hello? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Ah, terribly. <laughs> Dave, I can see you! <laughs> Dave, look across diagonal. Are you, are you filming this at the moment? Yes. Look to your left and then a bit straight. I can't hear you at all. I'm about to go into a I'm about to go into a bookshop, so uh, yeah, so so go. so good luck. Uh, good, good luck to you at all books for less. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Camera five. Good thing about this bookshop is that we've got sections. Okay. So let's not look in fiction. Where would it be? It'd be like a spiritual section or something, I think. Um. Keep filming. So I think we're getting followed. Okay. Pardon? You want to be famous? You want to be famous? Yeah. We'll get up. 
Do you know where an orangutan is? I need to buy one. You got it down here? Yep. And you turn left? Yep. And then when you get to the, not the very bottom, but about five minutes from the bottom, yep. you turn right. Okay. Right, and, and what's the shop called? Um, orangutan Zara. <laughs> Brilliant. We're going. We're also getting into the Christmas spirit as well, oh. as you can see. Christmas. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit early for that. Ah, oh, okay. It's too early for Christmas, apparently. There's no mistletoe. Damn you, Codlon. The arts of divination, personology, Eastern mythology, we're this close, but it's just, it's not getting there. Do we have a book about, like, ancient Indians? They believed in that kind of stuff, didn't they? Nope. Okay, let's just say, nope, not gonna happen, not gonna find one in here. Let's find another one. Okay, what's it called again? Uh, the Rainbow King Zara's. <laughs> awesome. Did you want to take me there? or? Yeah, Alright, let's go. Let's go. Yep. See the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Thank you, thank you very much. Welcome back to our uh, last minute post Christmas special here at the Silicon Lee Show. Dave, seriously, do you know how fun this is? Curling? <laughs> yeah, try it, curl. I, to I told you you'd like this too much. Curl me. I warned him, I warned him. Are you him. feeling guilty for liking watching it? <laughs> Let's move on. Um, actually, before we move on, um, during the ad break, someone has dropped by no. into the lounge room here to give us our rug back. Yay! We don't have a couch, we don't have walls, but we have a rug. That's all right. It's one, one step closer to having our set back. Um, but now, let's move on. We're into our second half of our Christmas gifting challenge. Um, of course, uh, we both went off with 10 bucks into Melbourne CBD and we had to buy each other some very obscure Christmas gifts. Mm. Well, Dave had to get me a book on reincarnation and I had to get Dave an orangutan. Not a real one. We, we tried. We, yes, we, we did try. Uh, but if you've just joined us, before the break you would have seen me hard at work trying to get Josh's Christmas present while Josh was off, well, making friends, really. Mm. So, just like in the studio. Uh, yes, so uh, let's see where we are. Guys, do you have an orangutan on you at all? Orangutan? Ten bucks for an orangutan? No. Do you want to call Dave? Yeah. Tell him that we're going to find an orangutan for him. Hello? Hey, it's Dave. Where are you? We're trying to find the orangutan. Who the hell is this? We're just trying to find the orangutan. It's not an important question at the moment. You're really confusing me. Are you a friend of Josh's? Are you a store? Are you working in a shop? What? A sh I, I seriously... I don't work in a shop, honey. <laughs> <laughs> It's confusing me so much. Well, you know what, you're wasting my time here. I'm trying to find a book on reincarnation. <laughs> time is of the essence, honey. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't help you out. Dave, show these ladies some respect, please. You're wasting my time. Go away. Ah, oh, assholes. What the hell was that? Is Chinatown this way? Which, which way is it to Chinatown? Is it down that way? Thank you very much. Excellent. All right, down this way. It's stressing. I can't find an orangutan anywhere. Because you didn't take us to the orangutan shop. I'm thinking that's the way back down. That's Chinatown, OK? It's before you get to Chinatown. Where's on that corner down there? Ooh, which way is it? Let's try down this way. Google, um, Google Maps might be able to lead me there. That's where we are. Book grocer. I think we're going the right direction. Where is this orangutan? Uh, we kind of lied. Yeah, I think it's time to no. come clean. There's no orangutan shop. In no. We just wanted to spend the day with you. Woo! <laughs> I think we're moving closer. Or are we moving away? I have no idea. The thing's not moving. Wait, this is going back to Fed Square, isn't it? Are we going to run? Well, we're, we're, I'm being timed here. <laughs> so I'm going to run like this. We made it. We made it to the bookshop. All right. We haven't, no. Try that or yep. try it after Daly's, but I haven't seen anything. We found a section. We found a section. Hinduism. Hinduism. They believe in re reincarnation, right? Hang on, let's go to Wikipedia and look up um, reincarnation. We're looking for an orangutan. Like a, a toy, you know, like a monkey orangutan? 
Thank you. This this is an orangutan? Yeah. You heard it. One of the core beliefs of Hinduism. Reincarnation. You can get away with that. Do you reckon we can get away with that? I reckon we can. Where's my phone? Hello there. Hey, we're crossing the road. You're crossing the road? Yeah, we're on our way back to Fit Square. Have you completed the challenge? Yes, we have. You've completed it? Yep. Where are you? I'm nearly there. Let's go, let's go. Oh, thank you. Yes, please. Excellent. Thank you very much. Should we run it? Let's run it. I want to beat him back. Let's go get a free ice cream. Let's look on the screen. Jaywalking. You know what? Even if I don't win this challenge, it's Christmas time and Josh is going to get his present before the time is up. That's what Christmas is about. Hey, I'm going to try and pick up a free kiss while I'm here. <laughs> It's gotta be a Christmas miracle. Merry Christmas! At no point did Dave say that we'd get, we had to be a, like a toy around his hand, right? It's gonna be a miracle. It's gonna be a miracle. Dave. The rule, the rule was to meet at the Christmas tree. The rule was to meet at the Christmas tree. Seconds on the Christmas tree. A one. A one. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. Merry Christmas, Josh. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? What the hell is this? This is not what I asked for. This is not a right. Yeah, okay. you have a bit of reincarnation in here. I don't think either of us really got the right thing here. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, meet my friends. Wait, this is our worst Christmas ever. Oh, you love it. <laughs> How's that? How's that? Christmas miracle, man. Another one. Two draws in two years on Christmas. That's right. The only time we've ever tied in a challenge on the show has been a Christmas time. So it's because I'm so competitive. Yeah. Oh, the doorbell. It's gone again. You know what that means? Can we? Fantastic. Yep. Excellent. 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 Hello. Come in. Come in. Come Hello. in. Hey boys. Oh, oh no. Oh, my Marilyn bottles, yes. Uh, just up here? No, or down there. Fantastic, no, up, up here. Up here. Fantastic, thank Dave, you. Dave, I'm the only thing that should jiggle on this set. Um, <laughs> how, much, how much do we owe you? Actually, I'm going to give you something. Oh. Josh gave me that to take them. I had them cleaned first. <laughs> uh, at that, let's move on. Um, that brings us to the end of the show. I think we've run out of time. Oh, Dave. <laughs> but as you can see, of course, we are starting to piece our set back together bit by bit. Um, if anyone out there has any pieces of our set left, uh, there's not much uh, left to come back, really. Mm, just just little know, things. Just little things like the floor, the walls, the couch, the, sign, the, couch, the table. Just little things. Mm. Um, all of the set, basically. So if you have it, please give it back to us. You've got a week to get it to us. Uh, because uh, we're off, uh, we're not doing a studio show next week yep. because of the New Year's break. We're instead uh, playing a repeat of the Logies special from uh, earlier in the year. So if you've mm. missed that, or if you want to watch it again, check it out. Yep. But look, guys, we'd like to wish you all a very safe and happy New Year. Uh, we don't condone alcohol, but get drunk. Um, only, of course, if you are over the uh, legal drinking age. Mm, of course. So if you're under 14, don't drink. <laughs> uh, 18. If you are over 18, you can drink. Uh, but otherwise, you know, stay safe. Have a happy new year. Be cool and party, as I like to say. Yes, that's what you say. It is. Uh, have a happy new year, guys. Stay safe. See you later. See you guys. Good job. Uh, you know what I'm really annoyed about most of all? That Georgie Botto has still run away with my bobblehead. That thing is like, it's like a prized possession of mine. Without that bobblehead, I'm nothing now. I really want that back. The Silicon Lee Show would like to thank its major sponsor, Sport First, first for sport.